Life gets more exciting when you live on the wild side. For most people, that means taking adventurous vacations or refusing to settle for the status quo, not necessarily choosing an unusual pet. However, if the domesticated cat or dog isn't interesting enough for you, you might be tempted to try and raise a boa constrictor, an unusual rodent, or even a large cat. But when it comes to owning exotic pets, you might be in for more than you realize. Many pet owners aren't prepared for the responsibility of owning an exotic pet. Some even find themselves on the wrong side of pet ownership laws in the United States. In this video, we have listed 10 pets that are illegal to keep in the United States. Here we go. Number 10, Wolf Hybrids. On the topic of hybrid animals, wolf hybrids also count as exotic pets many states don't want their residents to keep. According to some reports, wolf dog mixes, also referred to as wolf dogs, are the most misunderstood and mismanaged animals in America. Advocates say that they can be wonderful pets, while opponents argue that they're unpredictable, untrainable, and inherently dangerous. They're permitted in some places, forbidden in others. The federal government officially classifies them as domestic pets and leaves their regulation to individual states and municipalities. States including Alaska, Connecticut, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Hampshire, New York, Rhode Island, and Wyoming prohibit private ownership of wolf hybrids. Other states have restrictions on private ownership. They set minimum standards for enclosures and have strict rabies laws that could result in an animal being euthanized if it bites someone. Number nine, skunks. You might think anyone willing to have a skunk in their home has gone off the deep end, but plenty of people in the U.S. think these animals make wonderful pets. Nonetheless, even if you have a skunk scent glands surgically removed, there's no guarantee you'll be allowed to own one. Skunks should be considered illegal until verified otherwise. According to a 2008 report from PBS, only 17 states allowed the people to own skunks as pets. Keep in mind, cities and municipalities might also have their own rules about pet ownership, particularly regarding such an unpopular animal. So check with your local government before deciding a skunk can take up residence in your home. Number eight, bats. Some species of bat are federally protected animals. That means it's illegal to kill them, even when they wind up inside your home. But if you've always dreamed of having your own bat cave or working on your echolocation skills, you'll have a tough time in the United States. Those same federal protections also make it illegal to capture wild bats for domestication. Transporting bats within the U.S. requires a permit from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And you can only transport a bat if you're affiliated with a legitimate sanctuary, scientific organization, or registered establishment for educational programming. In other words, the U.S. makes it very difficult to get a bat as a pet. If you're seriously batty for these creatures, keep this in mind. Bats can live up to 25 years, but that life expectancy shrinks to just one year or less if they're in captivity. Number seven, slow lorises. Slow lorises are small primates native to Northeast India and Southeast Asia. Even though you can purchase them in other countries, such as Russia and Japan, Pet Helpful reports it's illegal to export them. Even if you were to acquire a slow lorise, it's unethical to do so. They are typically captured directly from the wild. Then, they get transported in horrible conditions, and often, they have to have their back teeth painfully removed. It's unlikely you'll ever see slow lorises in zoos, at least anywhere in North America, as they're not easy to breed or take care of. That means they don't make easy animals for pet owners to care for either. You might see sweet videos of them on the internet, but keep in mind those owners likely do not live in the States. Number 6. Alligators in most states, alligators are best left to golf courses and wild marshes, not your backyard. 
Fine Law reports you can't own alligators without at least a permit, or at all, in many states. If your state does allow you to own an alligator, you must provide an enclosure that keeps the animal in and potential intruders out. You also need to take full liability for owning such a creature. Even a small bite from an alligator can prove deadly. Plus, you'll need to allow local wildlife authorities to regularly inspect your alligator's habitat. Experienced personnel not only can help you keep your pet from escaping, but can also monitor your alligator's welfare. Number 5. Big Cats Simba and Mufasa were such fun to watch, but owning your own lion or tiger or leopard is pretty difficult to achieve when you live in the U.S. 21 states in the U.S. ban all dangerous exotic pets, and big cats fall into that category. The previously mentioned five states, Nevada, Wisconsin, Alabama, North Carolina, and South Carolina, don't require a permit. They generally allow big cat ownership, and some states, including Pennsylvania, Texas, and Montana, allow it if the person obtains a permit. Other states, such as Florida, refer to big cats and other large animals as Class 1 wildlife. That classification refers to animals that pose a serious danger to humans. Such states don't allow Class 1 animals to be owned illegally for private use. But you can obtain a permit for commercial purposes. Number 4. Monkeys Owning a primate gets tricky in the U.S. Some states might allow it, but most do not. Interestingly, The Guardian says about 4,500 primates are privately owned in the UK. That number includes apes, lemurs, and bush babies. Some of these are owned by trained professionals, but most are kept by regular pet owners, as it's technically legal to have one in the UK. Even if you're dying to have a marmoset on your shoulder in the US, we heavily advise against it. Certain states, including the Carolinas, Georgia, Kansas, and Oklahoma, don't have laws to prevent primate ownership, but most other states either prohibit it or will only allow you to own such animals with a special permit. The upshot? You should probably just leave the monkeys at the zoo. Number 3. Hedgehogs They're tiny, spiky balls of fun, but not every state is keen on allowing hedgehogs. Surprisingly, these little bundles of quills are controversial among animal experts and animal activists. Some say hedgehogs' nocturnal nature makes them unsuitable for human entertainment and companionship, but others think they make great pets. You can't own a hedgehog in New York City and in some other municipalities. States including California, Arizona, Georgia, Hawaii, and Maine also prohibit residents from keeping these little animals as pets. Hedgehog Central, a site that advocates for the understanding and enjoyment of these creatures, also reports Pennsylvania forbids private ownership. Number 2. Finnick Foxes Never heard of a Finnick Fox before? Well, you'll definitely want one of these after you see photos of their huge ears and small furry bodies. According to the San Diego Zoo, this breed of fox is the smallest of them all. That seems to make them desirable to those longing for exotic pets. Although some states might technically allow them, they often get sold illegally. That can result in habitat loss in their native Sahara and North Africa. A surprising number of states do allow fennec foxes, and they're relatively common as far as exotic pets go. Still, according to Born Free USA, some states have much stricter laws than others about owning any type of exotic animal. Number 1. Bengal Cat when you think of illegal exotic pets, you probably don't envision a lazy cat sprawled out on your couch. But you'll need to rethink that assumption if you want to own a Bengal cat, a hybrid that originated from a cross of a domestic cat and a small Asian leopard cat. You'll have a hard time owning these cats in numerous states, including New York, Georgia, Massachusetts, Iowa, Alaska, Hawaii, Delaware, Connecticut, and Indiana. Individual cities, such as Seattle and Denver, also ban them. Bengal cat owners might also find themselves in trouble with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The agency considers the breed a wildlife hybrid and requires special permits to import or export Bengal cats. Bengal cat owners have petitioned the agency to consider their animals a domestic breed, 
because these domestic cats are many generations removed from the wild Asian leopard cat. There's been no luck so far. Bengals don't exactly behave like wild cats. They are very active and intelligent and do have some behavioral quirks. That concludes our video of the 10 pets that are illegal to keep in the United States. What is your favorite exotic animal? And would you like to own it? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all 